It may seem impossible to pull the emergency brake, and yet that is what we have to do. But right now, I think there is an awakening going on. Even though it is slow, the pace is picking up and the debate is shifting. This is thanks to a lot of different reasons, but it is a lot because, because of countless of activists, and especially young activists. Activism works. And I am so proud that you folks are out here saying enough is enough. Get off your keisters and get to work now getting it done. Why do you think young people are stepping up their role in climate change activism? Well, for one, this is going to affect us most of all when we're moving into new places and there's going to be more floods and it's really our generation that's going to be hit by the most in 11 years. It's going to be our prime time that's going to get devastated by climate change. It looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. So I first read about them while reading the newspaper. Uh, I saw that they went into Nancy Pelosi's office. They did this sort of direct democratic action um, to raise awareness of the Green New Deal, to get young people involved in this process, to push awareness and push action to fight the climate. And I'm going to ask you a few questions about the climate strike. Is that OK? Yes. Why are you striking against climate change? Uh, I think it's a very big issue uh, today, and it needs to be reversed. And uh, I think there's a sense of urgency that our current politicians are not addressing. The things that we have the most control over are extracting and then burning fossil fuels. And so we burn gasoline in our cars. We burn natural gas or oil in our homes to heat them. And we burn coal and natural gas and sometimes oil in power plants for electricity. One, I think we need to transition our energy system to one that is renewable, one that does not burn carbon and put it into the atmosphere. I think we also need to change the way we do things. I think we need to consume less energy. I think we need to consume less resources. How long do you think that we have to fix it? Um, I believe that we have 10 or 11 years. That's not very long. Um, so I think we're realizing that we are the generation that needs to speak up and that we need to stand up for um, what's right. What are some other things you can do to help reverse the course of climate change? Uh, there are actions and um, politicians we can talk to all over the state, all over the country. Um, one of the ways people can get more involved is by joining Sunrise Movement, which I'm here representing. Um, and just by get, getting involved with that, you learn all the different things going on, who, what politicians to talk to, what actions are available, what petitions to sign, all of those just to get your... Um, we need more people and more bodies and saying, stepping up to leaders saying this needs to be a change. So that's one of the ways you can get more involved.